Hello, my name is Salman Hamid and I'm Assistant Professor of Integrated Science and Humanities at Hampshire College. I'm Kevin Anderson. I teach courses in film and anthropology at the University of Massachusetts and this is Film Autopsy. Following a verbal dispute, Zachary Cowan, age 11, and armed with a stick. Armed? Uh, Michael, what else could we say? Uh, uh, carrying, uh, holding, ho carrying a stick, all right? Carrying, yeah. Carrying a stick. The nurse, right? Nice comfort. Very. Yeah, Walter. But he realizes that he disfigured his schoolmate. My son did not disfigure your son. Piece of shit. What does he call her again? Doodle. Yeah, right. <laughs> Doodle. <laughs> Doodle. Yeah, I call her Doodle. Sorry. Yeah? Enough, Alan. Enough with the cell phone already. The here and now, God damn it. The victim and the criminal are not the same. I am glad our son kicked the shit out of your son, and I wipe my ass with your human rights. Wow. I believe in the God of carnage. The God whose rule has been unchallenged since time immemorial. I got no patience for this touchy-feely bullshit. I'm a short-tempered son of a bitch. Alan, do something. Alan, do something. Oh, shut your mouth. Give a shit. Nancy, what are you? There. Shit. Oh, oh my God. Where to go? <laughs> this is what I think. Michael. I think I'm going to vomit again. Freaking nightmare. You better watch it. He's got me right on the edge. What the hell are we doing here? I hope you're kidding. Hello and welcome to a film autopsy of Carnage, a new film by Roman Polanski based on a stage play by Yasmina Reza. It stars Jodie Foster and John C. Riley as one couple and uh, Kate Winslet and the wonderful Christoph Walls as the other couple. Um, essentially, the film starts off in a playground in New York City um, where two boys get into an altercation. It quickly moves to the interior of an apartment, the apartment of John C. Riley and Jodie Foster, who are the parents of one of the children uh, who was in the altercation, and, John, and um, Christoph Walls and Kate Winslet play the parents of the other child that was in the altercation. So these four people have come together to resolve the manner in a rather civil way, in a fair and equal way, and not involving outside parties and lawyers and things like that. So it all starts off with a very good premise. The situation quickly <laughs> and steadily unravels as each of these characters starts to shed their their kind of uh, their, their representation of, say, a, pol a particular you know social or political viewpoint about the matter, and so as the film progresses, we see the one couple versus the other couple. These alliances will switch, and then it's the men against the women, and then it'll switch again. It's like you know a mixed couple against the other mixed couple, and it's just a real. It's it's kind of difficult to watch. Um, there's some rather uh, uh, kind of cringing moments, but it's a it's a funny film. I think it's a very smart film, and uh, I, I think uh, we, we highly enjoyed it. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I did enjoy it, uh, but um, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's, a, it's based on a play uh, which, which won actually a Tony Award, and uh, it's certainly this movie stays within it. The entire film is shot within the apartment. I mean, I think you barely go uh, into the hallway, and that's about That's right, it. Uh, that's right. It uh, does look and feel like a stage play, certainly. And uh, so, so it is. It is. It is well done. Uh, although I have to be honest that this is one of those films that the next day I was not thinking about it. I, I enjoyed it while watching the film. It's a. Sh it's a short film. I think it's like, uh, like seventy, yeah. uh, like eighty minutes. Uh, yeah, or hour so. and twenty minutes. And I think that's wonderful because really, if if you would have stretched this movie, it would not have worked. So in that sense, um, it was great. And I think uh, obviously the critique is of. Uh, yuppies or the middle class or however you want to uh, call that and and it does and it does get biting i think the satire is biting um but uh, is it of a class of say for example bunuel films like you know uh, uh, the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie or um even 
uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Yeah, uh, it's like a say. different type of a film. Uh, but in that also, I mean, I think the writing is so sharp that this movie is a little bit mundane compared to both of those. Oh boy, uh, mundane. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe you should have walked out with those other people. Because while we were watching the film, people were steadily leaving the theater. I think they went in not really knowing anything about the film. So I think we should say, you know, it does. it is based on a stage play and Polanski, you know, maintains that kind of feel, that that rhythm, the pacing, and even just the, the geographical space. But, but he uses it very well within the um, apartment. Little things in the background, art books, pieces of sculpture, paintings, um, are used in a way in the framing to kind of help complement what is going on at that particular point in a scene or in a certain um, uh, kind of progression in this story and this gradual unwinding of the kind of social etiquette they all four seem to start with. Um, I will say that Christoph Walls was certainly, while his perspective on the matter is certainly one I don't agree with, it was the most enjoyable performance to watch. Absolute cynicism. And he just you know, has nothing but contempt for anyone who doesn't realize that humans are just basically selfish. We look out for ourselves, what, what, you know, any questions? And the character of Jodie Foster plays the absolute opposite. She's kind of this, you know, very progressive liberal, um, wanting everybody to, you know, work together to figure out the problems of the world and then, you know, by procedure solve them. And he just, you know, has no time for her. So some of the exchanges between the two of them are, are just fantastic and, to watch. And she's working on a book on Darfur. So that gives you an that idea. He, like, you know, that he makes fun of. <laughs> right, and that she wants to go over there. But, but, that, I right. think, but that, I think, is partly the point. That, I mean, it is about, well, if you, there are these pretensions that people have and which one is sincere and which one is purely as pretension. And, and I think those kind of things as with a little bit of alcohol that gets introduced <laughs> in the film, also cigars, but certainly alcohol when gets The alcohol gets things rolling. You sure. start seeing that pretension of civilization also start uh, yep. uh, unraveling. And I think that is what the movie is about. Yeah, and, so, and, and that, the unraveling, but also the ideas about marriage and kind of the social etiquette that's supposed to go along with marriage and, and uh, gender relations and politeness. It's, it, 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 it is, it's a joy to watch. I can't believe you call it mundane. It's well, it just, is mundane, it's a, it, but you can, you can have joy in some like, sort of like <laughs> mundane films too. I, I mean, I enjoyed it while I, uh, while I watched it, but, but it wasn't a film, I, I didn't find it to be profound or certainly something to think about. Christoph Waltz, I mean, they were all fantastic actors. But there is some joy, mm -hmm. absolute joy, to watch Christoph yeah. Waltz. He really right. enjoys it. I mean, in Glorious Bastards, he was absolutely phenomenal. And here also, there are just occasions where you go like, wow. I mean, yeah. he is just so good. So I think, uh, in that sense, is it one of the better Polanski films? I don't think so. Well, uh, I will less, I maybe we'll just wrap it up, but I'll just say that... Uh, uh, John C. Riley, I think, deserves mentioning because he goes into this film with these three, you know, Academy Award winning, <laughs> heavy hitting actors where there's really nobody else in the film and he really holds his own in this lineup. And I think yeah. that was rather but, impressive. But John uh, C. Riley is an amazing actor. Well, he I mean, is, you're putting but, him, he's, like, you know, but he's, he's not. Like coming off of the street. I don't even think he's ever been nominated for an Academy Award. Not that that's the be all and end all, but yeah. I mean, he must have felt a little bit intimidated walking onto set the first day playing against these three actors. So um, uh, I, I would say, I, I highly recommend yeah, Carnage. I mean, I, Go see it. I lowly recommend it. I mean, I highly <laughs> recommend it. <laughs> <laughs>